What does it mean if your disability claim is denied at reconsideration? Should you just give up? Is it all hopeless? I'm Jonathan Ginsberg. I'm an Atlanta area social security disability attorney. And I would tell you that uh, if you get a denial at reconsideration, do not give up. Realize that reconsideration is the first level of appeal. If you applied for disability benefits, you waited three or four or five months, you got denial, denied, you filed an appeal either with an attorney or, or, or on your own, and now you've received a denial notice at reconsideration, you may be tempted to give up. It's been eight months, nine months, maybe a year, and you may think, what's the point? They're gonna keep denying you. Well, here's the reality. Once the case is requ hearings requested, once the case is taken out of the state agency system, then your chances of getting approved actually go up. The Social Security process is kind of funny in that when you apply for benefits, your case is evaluated by somebody called a state agency adjudicator. This is typically an, a person who's employed by the state of Georgia um, on contract with Social Security, and their job is to evaluate claims. And they're looking for listing level impairments. These are medical problems that are so severe that you're almost automatically disabled. Someone with metastatic cancer, somebody who's on a heart transplant list, somebody who can't walk anymore because of multiple herniated discs. In fact, if you want to see the listings, you can go to my website at www.meetalisting.com and you can see the level of impairment you have to have to meet a listing. Well, at the initial stage and at recon, they're looking for listing level problems. And you may have somebody, and you may be in this boat, where you have multiple problems. You may have a herniated disc, and you may have COPD, and you may have severe depression, and you may have uh, cardiac problems, chest pains. If you have multiple problems going on, there's a good chance the adjudicator is going to say, I don't know any one of these things is disabling, I'm just going to deny the person. Or this person has not been out of work for a year and Social Security says to approve them, they have got to be out of work or expected to be out of work for 12 consecutive months. Well, if you've only been out of work for six or eight months, they're not going to assume you're likely to be out of work for a full year. They're going to deny you. So the reason people are denied at recon many times has nothing to do with the merits of their case. Therefore, if you are denied at reconsideration, Stick with it. Let's file an appeal, request a hearing, because once we get to the hearing stage, a couple things happen. Number one, your case is no longer being evaluated by a state agency adjudicator, a claims adjuster. It is now gonna be in the hands of a judge, and the judges have a lot more discretion to look at your case holistically. They're gonna look at medical evidence, they're gonna hear you testify in person, they may take evidence from former coworkers and supervisors who've seen you try to work, they may look at school records, um, grades, uh, school psychological reports, they're gonna look at a much broader range of, meta of evidence, both medical and non-medical evidence. That's one thing. Um, the second thing is that judges are going to look at your case using different theories of disability. I mentioned before that the adjudicators are looking for listing level impairments. These are medical problems that are so severe they're almost automatically going to disable you. You have metastatic cancer where your cancer is spread to your bones and, and all over your body you're disabled, there's no question about that. Um, but if you have multiple things going on, it takes somebody with judgment, i.e. a judge, to make a decision that yes, in fact, you are disabled. That's why when you get to a hearing, very few hearing decisions are premised or based or approved based on a listing level argument. Judges assume that if you were listing level, you would have been picked out and caught, and the case would have been caught and, and pegged at the initial recon stage. So. They're looking at your case, they're looking at uh, the listings, they will look at them, but they're mostly looking at the grid rules for people over age 50, or they're looking at functional capacity. Uh, do you have, if you look at all the stuff going on in your life, has your functional capacity for work been so reduced by your medical issues that you would not be a reliable worker? So that's what is going on. Um, in, in a hearing. So you have totally different theories of disability, totally, totally different activities by judges. So there's a pretty good chance that you'll get a fresh, clean look at your case. That's why you don't want to give up. Look, recon was almost eliminated. There was a test pro pro program in 10 states, Georgia not among them, but among 10, 10 states, where they eliminated recon entirely. People would get denied at initial, they then file for a hearing. You know what? It made no difference because recon's a waste of time. Uh, some people say it's being used to uh, 
uh, discourage people from continuing on with their, the process and to go back to work and to give up. Maybe so, maybe not, I don't know. But I can tell you that recon's, for, for the most part, a waste of time. I've been doing this for 25, 28 years. I can only think of maybe three or four cases that were approved at recon, uh, despite my best efforts, submitting medical evidence, getting documentation, getting statements. They just don't approve cases at recon, very, very rare. So if you get denied at recon, we wanna get that hearing request filed within 60 days. Um, the chances of winning at hearing are about 45% versus 10% at recon and 30% at initial. So your chances are actually pretty good, but you gotta stick with it, you gotta stay in the game. And that's what we do most of the time. That's most of the time I get retained either to file the reconsideration appeal or after the reconsideration appeal is denied because people realize that now we're looking at a different set of facts and circumstances. Um, I've got to provide updated medical record. I've got to get creative in it when it comes to finding evidence for my clients. And that's what we do. And that's why we have a pretty good success rate at hearings um, because we're able to prove to the judge that when you look at this just beyond the raw medical data, that in fact, there's a good chance that my client would not be able to be a, a, a capable worker in a, in a competitive work setting uh, ongoing. And again, we win most of our cases on that because uh, we're able to prove that with both medical and non-medical evidence. So if you've been denied at recon or if you're waiting for your recon decision and you're basically saying to yourself, they deny me, I'm done, I'm through, um, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't think that because you need to stay the course. Um, if you're not represented by an attorney, by an attorney uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, this is what I do day in and day out. I go to hearings you know, several a week. Uh, every case I've, I've gone to a hearing for has been denied twice already. So I don't even pay any mind. I just think that we have to look at this brand new and say, what evidence do we need to prove that my client does not have the capacity for competitive work? You need to reach me. I'm at 770-393-4985. My email is my last name, Ginsberg, G-I-N-S-B-E-R-G, at gmail.com. My website, ssdanswers.com, backslash Atlanta. Uh, you can see a lot of great information there, a free survival kit about how to uh, survive through this whole process. And I've got case studies and a lot of great information. So if you're interested in pursuing disability and you're not represented, I'd love to talk to you. Again, Jonathan Ginsberg here, wishing you all all the best. Thanks a lot. Hi, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to know more about how to win your Social Security Disability case, I'd like to invite you to download my Secrets to Getting Approved Early Survival Kit that I created just for people like you. Currently, I'm making the survival kit available at no cost, and I encourage you to grab your copy now. Some of the topics I cover include how do I know if I have a case? Is it the right time for me to file my claim? Nine common mistakes that can doom your case. The three must-have arguments you use to win your case. And a topic that every disability claimant wants to know, how to avoid trick questions from the judge. If you or a loved one need to win Social Security Disability Benefits, you'll find this survival kit essential reading. Download your survival kit right now and at no cost. Just visit ssdanswers.com backslash survival and sign up. It's that easy. Please act now. And as always, I wish you the best.